Refreshing Stories. My name is Reen. One morning, when I was walking down the road, I saw an old man who had curled up into a ball on the ground. Are you okay? Oh, oh. Grandpops! Oh, I can't breathe. This is terrible. I will call an ambulance right away. Oh. I called an ambulance in a hurry, and the old man was taken into a nearby university hospital. He survived. Apparently, he had a pre-existing heart disease. I am so glad that it didn't become anything serious. I'm so glad you're all right. Thank you so much. I don't know how to thank you. Don't worry about it. But what were you doing there? I thought I would go get some things for my business. Oh, are you a business owner? I own a cafe. Oh, a cafe. How nice. Well, it's a small cafe, but it means the world to me. Is that so? Then you need to get better quickly. That's right. I need to do my best to recover. But my cafe... The old man's cafe is apparently an old establishment. The business inherited from his forefathers. When he took over, he ran the cafe modestly with his wife. However, last year, his wife passed away, and he had to run the cafe on his own. Even so, he seems to love the cafe that he used to run with his wife. After a while, a middle-aged couple came in. Oh, it's you, Soya. Don't- Oh, it's you, Soya, me. The hospital called me so many times, and it inconvenienced me a great deal. Sorry, I had a pain in my chest. You're overreacting. And who's this? Oh, this is the nice lady that helped me. I'm Reen Aizawa. Hmm, such an old man. You should have left him there for dead. I couldn't just leave him there. I'm so glad it was nothing serious. <sighs> if you wanted to help an old man, you would have wanted to help a rich old man at the very least, right? Hey, Soya, don't be rude to her. She saved my life. Okay, okay. Can I go home already? No, there's a favor I want to ask you. Can you run the cafe just for the duration of my stay at the hospital? The cafe? You were still running that thing? Just close the business. I can't. I treasure it too much. You probably don't have many customers anyway. There aren't a lot, but I have some customers that come regularly. I need to keep the cafe open for those people. Don't you want to help me? No. You are going to be in charge of the cafe after I'm gone. Ah, it gives me the shivers just thinking about it. I don't need that stupid old shack. I refuse. No way. But our ancestors have kept running this cafe for so long. I'm totally not interested. If I had to run a business, I would want to run a slick looking bar. You really don't want it? I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with such trash like your cafe. Okay. Grandpops. Oh, sorry for making you see such a miserable scene. Not at all. Um, are you okay? I'm in a tough spot. What should I do? Uh, huh? Can you run the cafe for me? Who? Me? Yes. Oh no. I have never worked at a cafe before. I used to think until recently that wiener coffees had wieners in them. That might be a problem. But I will make sure to teach you everything you need to know. Can I ask you to do it? Um, but... The compensation will be, since you helped me, I will let you inherit the cafe. <laughs> what? Why on earth would you do that? You need to accept my token of gratitude. But why? I was now suddenly going to inherit a cafe. I decided to help out at the cafe while the old man was in the hospital. I had a first look at where I was going to work. When I was looking at a map to find the cafe... How amazing! It looked so old and run down that it looked abandoned. And the shape of the building was so distorted. How fabulous! Can this be a mistake by the builder? No, 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 no. This cafe is wacky. Even though, I can't tell the old man about what I think of his cafe. Oh gosh, I am in trouble. But I need to help him. I need to try my best. From then on, I went to visit him at the hospital nearly every day to learn about running a cafe. I would run the cafe, trying my best. One day... Hello, thanks for coming. Wait, Grandpops? You've been working hard. Oh, thank you. But wait, what are you doing here? I was able to get a permit to leave the hospital for one day. Oh, good. I thought you escaped. We have quite a few customers here. Yes, it's great. Even though, uh, I made a few mistakes. Really? Well, I appreciate it. 
but it seems more popular than before. Yeah, it's quite a crowd. Here's your coffee. Oh, it tastes quite nice. You have honed your skills. You taught me what it takes. You were quite strict about it. This is proof that you have been working hard for me, and you put it in this cup. Hmm? This cup is my favorite because the patterns on it are so nice. This used to be my wife's favorite cup. It makes me so happy. Yes, yes. Is that so? Your wife and I might get along. I'm sure you would. Lady, wouldn't you really like to inherit this cafe? What? But wasn't this cafe your treasure? Yes, it is a treasure to me. But not only to me, but to the country as well. Huh? What do you mean? The old man started to talk sparsely. The building of this cafe was actually built by an architect called Sucato Marcello to serve as his workplace. But Sucato Marcello had an artisan-like attitude. Once he started to concentrate on his job, his focus was so immense that he would never leave that workplace and nearly starve to death as he forgot to eat or sleep. Thus, his apprentice started to live here out of worry and would serve food and beverages. The apprentice was able to make coffee so good that it would make Sucato Marcello swoon. Sucato Marcello gave the building to his apprentice to use as a cafe. That apprentice is apparently the ancestor of the old man. All the works of Sucato Marcello are so valuable that they are all worthy of becoming national treasures. They could not sell it, and so all the ancestors of the old man had protected this cafe. It seems that I had inherited an incredible cafe. Oh, I see. You want to sell your house. Yeah, yeah. I probably can't sell it because it's so old, but I'm asking just in case. To be honest, it is quite old, so selling it will be quite difficult. But let me see the building once. Oh, thanks. Please, have a look at it. This is really an old shit place. But it has a strange shape. I guess I can't sell it. This shape... No, it can't be. Um, what are you muttering about? No, no way! This is the first time I've seen the real thing! What is it? You gave me a fright! This building... It's not just a dirty old shack. This most certainly looks like just a dirty old shack. This is work by Scotto Marcello! I'm a fan! What a delight! Scotto Marcello? Who the heck is that? Don't you know him? He is one of the most renowned architects from the Meiji period. He had very unique taste and built strange-looking buildings. Everything he made is worthy of becoming national treasures. National treasures?! Yes. If you sell it, it will be worth at least a hundred million yen. What?! Okay, I'll call you back later. Hey, Dad, how are you doing? Here's a little something. A Get Better Soon present. What is all this fuss about? I was so worried about you, Dad, that I couldn't concentrate on my job. Oh. You're kind of giving me the creeps, though. Oh, and the cafe? I'll help out. Oh, but the lady is already working on it. She probably doesn't need your help. How about some cleaning? Oh, but the lady's already working on it. She probably doesn't need your help. I can wash the dishes. Oh, but the lady's already working on it. She probably doesn't need your help. Hey, what is this about? The lady this, lady that. It's because you never wanted to help out. You said the cafe was trash. I changed my mind. It's such a wonderful cafe. I want to help you out, Dad. I don't need your help anymore. I already have the lady working on it. What? How annoying. That bitch. She's going to have a piece of my mind. Excuse me. Hello. Thank you for coming. Hey, aren't you the son? Yo, can I have a coffee? Here you go. Did you come here today to have a cup of coffee? Ah, coffee is so good. I love this cafe. What? Didn't you say that this place was trash? Not at all. I've always been a coffee lover. Oh, is that so? There's no drink in the world as wonderful as coffee. The color, which looks like the color of all dirt in the world combined, <laughs> the bitterness that makes you frown, and most of all, bean and hot water. Um, I don't understand what you are saying. You most definitely hate coffee, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't want to drink coffee, and certainly not in such a rundown shack like this. How dare you! This cafe is your father's treasured possession. I don't care. 
Anyway, I want you to get out of here. Huh? I'm telling you to get the hell out! You understand? Hey, wait, wait a minute! Why do I have to get out? You're in my way! I want to sell this place! What? Sell? There's no grandpas will agree to that. He probably wouldn't. That's why I wanted to sell this place while he's in the hospital. I can't understand. Why would you do something so horrid? It's money! Money! Do you understand? This old shack costs 100 million yen! I'll have tons of money after I sell this place! Your father doesn't want that money! I'm not giving that old man a single yen! It all belongs to us! Hey! Do it! Lady, if you don't want to get hurt, I suggest you get out! No! Grandpa's asked me to stay here! I am not getting out! Right, right! Are you making fun of me, bitch? Ah! Oh no! The cup! What should I do? This bitch is crying over a cup. You better worry about yourself first. Right, sis? How dare you? This is so terrible. Terrible? The fun has just begun. Please, don't hurt the cafe anymore. Are you stupid? Do you think I won't hurt you because you're a girl? Please. Shut up, you stupid bitch. Huh? Huh? Why are you moving around like that? You're not just some punk-ass bitch, are you? Huh? I'm just a part-time worker at a cafe. You're not telling me the truth. Don't ridicule me. Die, bitch! Ah, ah, my knife! No way! If you're going to keep at it, I have my way of doing things, too. Huh? I feel so much intimidation from this bitch. You're not the legendary leader of the Scotto Union, are you? Huh? Rin Aizawa! Oh, I'm so sorry! I didn't know! I didn't know that you would be in a place like this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If I didn't know solved any problems, we'd have no need for police in this town. Please! Please! Forgive me! I will never come near you again! I'm getting out of here! B -b bye The Scato Union? THE Scato Union?! N no way How should I cook your entrails? Wait! Let's make a deal! We're gonna split the money between you and me. How about it? Split the money? Yeah, you get 50%. No, 70%. 70%, huh? That means I get 70 million yen. Oh, this is a ton of money. But hey, how about Grandpops? The old man is troublesome, let's, so let's make him disappear. He's old and hasn't got long to live anyway. I'll abandon him in a mountain or something. How about it? Just a secret between you and us. I see, I see. You dickhead! I'm gonna stick a bell pepper in your mouth! Who do you think your father is? But this will really make money! You will never come across another opportunity like this! I don't care! There's nothing more important than protecting Grandpops' precious cafe! I'll be your opponent if you want to keep at it, though! You better remember this! It's going to be all mine once I inherit this! Um, about that. He said he will let me inherit it. Huh? A token of his gratitude for helping him. That means you're going to have to fight with me again over the building. No! I can't stand this! It's not like I'm really going to let myself accept such an expensive inheritance, though. And so, I succeeded in protecting the cafe. But what should I do about the cup? When I apologized to the old man, he started to laugh. That was just a fake. Since I break cups all the time, he'd replace the real thing for a fake one while he was on his day out of the hospital. What a clever old man! The cafe was fixed and reopened. To this day, I am still breaking tons of plates and cups. But that has made this cafe quite famous and lots of people come to the cafe every day. The old man was super surprised when he saw our sales. He almost went to the hospital again. As for the old man's son, I never saw him after that again. I first thought he was afraid of me, but he had hired a no-good punk for a big amount of money, thinking he would get money from selling the cafe, and he is now running away from the punk because he cannot afford to pay him. This means greedy people end up losing in the long run. And as for me? Grandpops, as for the inheritance, I withdraw myself from this whole thing. What? Why? I'm not really the kind of girl that wants to work at a cafe all her life. Oh, is that right? But don't worry, I will come to help out anytime. And if any no-good punks come near the place, I will chase them away. <laughs> How reassuring. You're all better now, so I think it will be fine. Good luck! Thank you. 
I had not been entirely truthful. In reality, I had come to really like the cafe, but I noticed that the old man looked kind of sad looking at how crowded the cafe had come to be. I think he likes the cafe as it used to be, slow paced and quaint. Anyway, it is too expensive for me to handle. I want Grandpops to be healthy forever. I need to find myself a job now. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!